Hi everybody, Mark here from PondAlgaeSolutions.com and in the video tip today I want to talk a little about uh, the use of hydrogen peroxide in ponds and water gardens. Now hydrogen peroxide has been used in ponds uh, for maybe 10 years now uh, and actually if you go to the do-it-yourself end of things uh, liquid peroxide has been used probably longer than that but uh, in terms of commercial products you'll find uh, hydrogen peroxide in granular form and some of these products are EPA registered uh, to support their claims of killing algae and they do that on uh, contact or by contact. Also hydrogen peroxide can be an oxygenator uh, for water. When peroxide pellets are dropped in and they start to dissolve in the water the byproducts of that action is oxygen and additional water so it can really boost oxygen levels for a very short term um, when they get applied. Uh, they also can help loosen up stuff on the bottom uh, through this activation or this fizzing that sometimes occurs. Some of this depends on your water chemistry but they can be a good uh, uh, activator to kind of loosen up stuff on the bottom of a pond. Also they are used I think uh, uh, widely as a rock and waterfall cleaner. Uh, they can be applied directly on algae that grows on rocks, waterfalls, and even on decks and surfaces like that. So uh, they have very broad uses in that regard. Some popular products that you'll find on the market uh, and several that we carry are in the granular form and they are labeled as algae off and green clean. These are two of the more popular ones. Uh, some of these concentrations have very high levels of peroxide in the granular form uh, but they are relatively safe to use. There's a few precautions I'll mention before we close out here but they are easy to apply and uh, and work pretty well. Now you also find other products with peroxide in them but they may not be EPA registered. Uh, usually they're called a rock and waterfall cleaner. Uh, they might have oxy in the name, uh, something of that nature, but they're usually uh, they work in the same way but they're just not EPA registered. Now we come to liquid hydrogen peroxide which was the basis uh, and the question that sort of um, came about to, to lead us to this video. Liquid hydrogen peroxide uh, can be used and we suggest using a food grade uh, product that can be used to treat rocks and waterfalls and surface areas. Uh, they don't lend themselves well I don't think to submerged growth uh, mainly because unlike a pellet that can drop down into that fairly quickly a liquid peroxide may not do that. So I think they're better off to be used as a topical treatment. Now your 3% hydrogen peroxide that you might find in the drug stores uh, a lot of times I think that's too weak to use to do much good on some types of algae and it also may contain some unwanted stabilizers that you may not want to put in the pond. Whether it cause problems or not that's debatable but I tend to stay away from things with uh, questionable additives. So we look at food grade hydrogen peroxide and this can be found online. This is used in uh, commercial cleaning applications for the food industry a lot of times. It's very very clean but it's very concentrated. 35 percent solution is often found and you may find less but you can get the 35 percent solution. It should be handled with great care because it is pretty powerful but what I suggest doing is diluting it down with uh, uh, with water to a 10 percent solution and then you can spray it on the algae that you see on the rocks and waterfall areas and stream beds and it'll work very much like the granular form will to um, to kill the algae on a contact basis. So some final thoughts before we leave the topic of hydrogen peroxide and in some ways I'm just scratching the surface here but needless to say uh, this product and application offers a safe alternative to copper-based algaecides. Now the peroxide must contact the algae to kill it. Um, but it can be used with beneficial bacteria where pro uh, copper products can't. When the uh, hydrogen peroxide is applied it will 
activate very quickly on a wet surface and then it will become inert probably within five to ten minutes and it does turn into oxygen and water which are two very harmless substances and they won't go into the pond. Now if you're using it on rocks and the waterfall and the stream bed and stuff like that we recommend turning the flow off, applying the granules when they're wet or spraying the surface uh, and hitting the algae with the peroxide, letting it do its thing for a few minutes. After ten minutes turn the water flow back on and everything should be fine. Care should obviously be taken when you're applying this product for you. Uh, you should wear gloves and take care. It is a chemical after all, but also when you're applying near desired plants you want to remember that these granules, granules are caustic and so you don't want to have contact burns on those if you can help it. They probably won't kill them, but they may damage them a bit. Fish, I'd rather have them out of the area, but they won't hurt the fish once they drop into the water. They should be fine. You do want to obviously uh, take great care whenever you're killing off a fair amount of algae uh, that it's if it's really hot weather you can pull a lot of oxygen out of the water when this algae dies and so uh, that's really the only danger of using any type of a kill product in hot weather if you have a lot of algae that's why when we apply this we recommend using it for spot control only and we don't treat green water with it in uh, the granular form because simply put you can't target green water that's all over the pond some type of a pond wide uh, control is a better option and uh, so we don't use peroxide for green water. The other thing is remember that peroxide uh, dissipates very quickly. That's part of its safety uh, capability but green water can grow back very quickly too so once the stuff's gone you know once the peroxide's dissolved out then the green water can come back and so we just don't find it to be that useful as a control measure but at any rate when you do have certain types of algae like string algae and targetable spots of algae uh, hydrogen peroxide can work very well. You're going to find a lot of products with granulated peroxide which work fine and you can also use food grade liquid peroxide just as well on uh, surface applications. So we hope you find this useful. If you have any other questions about algae control feel free to stop by pondalgesolutions.com and we'll try to help.